What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about VSTs, what a VST is, and my top five best VSTs that every music producer should have. For the complete beginners amongst us, I will briefly explain what a VST is. It's basically an audio plugin software interface that integrates software synthesizers and effects in digital audio workstations such as FL Studio, Ableton, Logic. So in short, a VST is actually an instrument, a digital instrument that you can play within your DAW or digital audio workstation. Every music producer uses a VST to work on their craft. And while most audio software comes with a handful of stock VST plugins, the third party plugins are much more interesting because they allow a wide variety of different sounds and usually a higher quality compared to the stock software VST. So the market today offers a very, very wide variety of different VST instruments. And today I'm going to provide you with the top five must have VSTs for any music producer. So at number five, I got Nexus 2. Nexus 2 is a very popular synth plugin that features great out of the box sounds. It's an instrument that's specifically designed for producers of contemporary dance music with a supplied dance preset expansion pack containing 128 patches for use in trance, electro house and hard styles. However, the VST instrument is also immensely popular amongst trap producers and there's a very large amount of trap presets available on the internet. The plugin allows users to tweak the range of sound shaping tools and also features an arpeggiator and a trans gate. The screen is fairly simple to use and allows you to adjust individual layers. And the plugin also comes with a bunch of pretty, pretty damn good effects. So at four on my list is Native Instruments Massive. Massive is a hybrid synth that combines ideas and influences from anywhere. It comes with a very broad selection of Waytable oscillators, which makes it capable of producing everything from straight ahead analog style tones to complex and evolving sound. Massive's interface is very simple which makes it relatively easy to program. The only downside is that although some 600 presets come supplied and are easy to navigate, not all of them show Massive's full potential. So if you want to get the best out of this plugin, you have to look for some other presets online. So number three on my list is Serum or Serum. Also very popular pick amongst music producers is Serum. Serum produces some of the best sounds on the market. It oscillators sound clean and crisp and also slightly brighter than expected from synth plugins. Serum allows users to import their own audio to create custom wavetables. There's also a massive amount of modulation options. The unison feature provides you with five stacking modes and the plugin effects are amazing. It's probably one of the most advanced VSTs on the market with so many different features and options. A quick glance at the feature list makes it apparent that Serum represents an earnest attempt to produce nothing less than the world's most advanced instrument of its kind. So Serum is a, a VSC that I use myself. I like to use Serum because it's very easy to use and it just sounds amazing. You got so many synths, so many leads, uh, you got bass, you got, you got even some piano instruments in there. Uh, so to me Serum is definitely one of the best plugins out there. Now let's talk about bass. Number two on my list is Trillion. Trillion is a little older than most VSTs on the list, but despite of its age, it's still one of the most advanced and comprehensive bass plugins available on the market. The VST features a huge library of acoustic basses and replicas of hardware synthesizers such as Moog and Yamaha CS80. It also has over 34 gigabytes of sampled instruments. That's a lot. There's not a more comprehensive library on the market today. The instruments can also be played in different styles, such as fingered, picked, fretless, slapped, or muted. The VST also allows you to combine up to eight different patches at the same time, while still being able to control their individual parameters and modulations. So to make a long story short, if you're looking for a good bass VST, you should go for Trillion because it just has so many sounds, like 34 gigabytes of bass sounds, that's, that's crazy. So yeah, number two on my list, Trillion. All right, now let's move on to number one. This might seem a bit unfair since all the VSTs on the list have been individual VSTs and the one I'm about to announce is actually a bundle of VSTs. But if you're a producer and you wanna invest in sound, then to me, the best VST you can get is Native Instruments Complete. Complete is arguably the most popular VST bundle on the market and it will probably keep its place for some time. 
It's a great investment when it comes to stepping up your music production game with 13,000 sounds and more than 100 gigabytes of instruments and effects. This of course depends on the version you get. Complete is basically a bundle of all <coughs> Complete is basically a bundle of all native instruments VSTs with reactor, rounds, contour, Alicia Keys piano, various orchestras, FM8, massive and many more. It also features some real instrument VSTs such as bass, violin and guitars. So it's not just synths, it features pretty much every instrument or sound that you'd ever need. Complete is hands down one of the best VST software bundles ever and even though the price might scare a lot of bedroom producers, it's definitely worth the money. Complete's collection of VSTs alone will take you months to go through and I'm not even talking about the time it takes you to learn the instruments. So from my point of view, if you're looking for the best VST, if you're looking to invest some, some of your money into new sounds, you should definitely hands down go for Native Instruments Complete. So there you have it guys, that's my top 5 best VST instruments every music producer should have. If you enjoyed watching the video, go hit the like button right now, and of course, subscribe to my channel to stay updated with the latest content. Also leave a comment below, tell me about your favorite VST instrument and tell me what you think of my list that I put together. And last but not least, make sure to follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, yeah, and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Peace.